Hey wine friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Shayla Renato here of Black Girls Wine. And today we're gonna take the sangria that I made for you earlier and turn it into a mulled wine. Now, mulled wine does have a little bit more savory ingredients. So if you're interested in seeing how I turn this sangria into mulled wine, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to get into the ingredients one by one and show you exactly what I'm making. And then I'm gonna take you over to my stove while I mix up and warm up my mulled wine. But before we go any further, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know every time I drop a new video. So first up, we're going to be adding some apple pie spice seasoning. We're going to be using cinnamon sticks. Definitely going to need a few cloves, some fresh cranberries left over from our winter sangria recipe, and a good old orange. Shayla is finally going to peel some fresh fruit. So we are going to start with pouring the sangria into this pot. I don't need to change anything about how beautiful this looks. It's all gonna go in there and warm up together. The goal oh. All right. I've got the sangria on meat on a very, very low temperature. You don't need a lot here, guys. You're not cooking this, you're just warming it up for your mold wine. I'm gonna put a few cloves in there. Adding in a cinnamon stick. Maybe two, we want that fresh cinnamon flavor for our mold wine. It's gotta be, you know, it just gotta have, it has to scream Christmas. And to me, cinnamon sticks do that. Now, super cool, I found this apple pie spice that has a lot of the, uh, it's got nutmeg, which you would typically stick in your wine, your mulled wine. And it also has cinnamon, allspice, all that good stuff. So. Adding a little of the apple pie. Oh, just a dash, we don't need any more than that. I'm gonna toss in a few more cranberries. They're gonna make this super fragrant. And they're good for you, you know. And then we're gonna add some sliced orange. So instead of adding the slices, I think I'm just gonna juice it into here. I think the fresh squeezed orange juice is gonna really give it enough of the flavor without a ton of the acid. So, just gonna squeeze it. The wine is not, again, you, you don't want it to be super hot. It's warming up and I can tell it's warming up because I can smell it. The only thing left to do now is to turn this up just a little bit. And when I turn it up, it's just so that it'll start warming and then I'm going to stir. Now, with your mulled wine, you can do this in a crock pot as well as on the stove. I'm not gonna leave it on this. So my, my stove goes from like low, two, four, six, eight, and high. I currently have it on four, okay? And I'm only doing that just to kind of get the initial juices flowing. Um, if you're wondering what recipe I used for the sangria to take it from sangria to mulled wine, then you can watch the video that I will tag down in the description of my winter sangria recipe. It smells so good. I'm gonna make my sister try some um, and I'll see if she, I can get her to get on camera for you guys and tell you how it tastes. Also, I did not use rosemary in my sangria recipe at all. We used it as a garnishment, 
I did, however, put it in this mulled wine recipe. It is definitely going to wake up some flavor in here. And I'm telling you, if you are like in a, in a state, it's not super cold here in Virginia, but if you're in a state that gets super, super cold and it's already like snowing and y'all are getting that crazy weather, listen, this, oh, it is going to be a treat to come home to, okay? really easy recipe that once you make the sangria if you keep it in the fridge a few days um and you're like i need something hot this is good for that or this is also good for those zoom meetings you have in the evening you know the ones your boss schedules late and you don't know why this is zoom juice mm -hmm. good old zoom juice they'll never know what you're drinking especially since there's a ton of fruit All right, so we want to leave this sitting. It does need to kind of, um, it's got to sit a little bit. So we will give it about 15 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll do a tasting and see where it's at. I'm gonna let this sit guys, but while I'm letting it sit, I am gonna turn it down. I told you my stove goes two, four, six, eight high and then low is zero. I'm gonna put this down on two so that it's close to low. I don't want it to cook the fruit or anything. I just want it to kind of warm it up and let it sit. All right, wine friends. So this uh, mulled wine is definitely ready to go. You don't wanna let it warm too long. It's been about literally 15 minutes. You don't wanna cook the alcohol out of it because then you just have syrup and a nice warm fruity drink. So we are going to go ahead and put these in glasses and Enjoy. This is gonna be super delicious and perfect for our girls night, just to keep you all nice and cozy and toasty while you're staying in. If you enjoyed this quick little mold wine recipe, make sure you let me know down in the comments. I've got more goodies headed for you. Thanks so much for watching and joining me. Oh, that's good. Tell me on what the I'm doing. This ain't real, it's lit. Is it now?